Ruski Ed here with a challenge. Can you list the five largest cities in Russia? See how many you can come up with before the end of the intro song. After which we'll get on with the lesson. Ruski Ed is his name, and speaking Russian is his game. If it is Russian, you would like to know, the Ruski Ed is the place to go. Most people are likely to realize that Moscow is the largest city in Russia. In fact, it has a population of about 15 million people, making it about the same size as Los Angeles. The second largest city in Russia is St. Petersburg, and it has a population of about 5 million people. The next three largest cities all have a population of over a million people, and they are Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg, and Nizhny Novgorod. Other cities that you may have thought of include Vladivostok, Irkutsk, Omsk, Volgograd, and Sochi, to name just a few. We began this lesson with a blank map of Russia, which looks a little something like this. As you can see, no cities, no geographical features, and not much information at all actually is shown on the map. All we see is the basic outline of a country which stretches from the Pacific Ocean to Europe. In terms of land area, Russia is the largest country in the world. However, in terms of population, it is only the ninth largest country. So Russia has a lot of land, but a relatively low population density. In this lesson, we will place six items on our blank map. Listed in Russian, these items include Moskva, otherwise known as Moscow, Novosibirsk, Vladivostok, Uralskia Gori, which means Ural Mountains, Tihi Akian, which means Pacific Ocean, and Ozera Baikal, which means Lake Baikal. And here are these places on the map. From west to east, we see Moscow, the Ural Range, Novosibirsk, Lake Baikal, Vladivostok, and the Pacific Ocean in English. And Moskva, Oroskia Gori, Novosibirsk, Ozera Baikal, Vladivostok, and Tihi Akian in Russian. As already mentioned, Moscow is the largest city in Russia, but it is also interesting to point out that Lake Baikal is the largest freshwater lake on the planet, and that it contains one-fifth of the world's freshwater. Further, although for the most part the English and Russian forms of the names for these places sound similar, that is not the case for the Pacific Ocean and Tihi Akian, oddly enough. And now for two sample sentences. First up we have Vladivostok, Raspolijan, na Vastochnam, Pabareji, Rasi. It means Vladivostok is located on the east coast of Russia. Keywords in the sentence include Raspolijania means location, placement, or arrangement. Vastochny means east or eastern. Pabareji means coast, shore, or seaboard. With these definitions in mind and using the proper grammatical forms of these words, we can see that. Vladivostok, Raspolijan, na Vastochnam, pa Bereji, Rasi means Vladivostok is located on the east coast of Russia. The next sentence goes like this: Muy pasetili oraskia gori techenia nadeli. It means we visited the Ural Mountains for a week. First of all, it should be noted that while the word mountains is capitalized in English, when we write Ural Mountains, the word gori is not capitalized in Russian when we write. Oroskia Gori. Also of special interest are the words Pasetits means to visit, Techenia means current or flow, Techenia means through the course of, and Nedelia means weak. Keeping these definitions in mind and using the appropriate forms of these words, it is apparent that Mui Pasetili Oroskia Gori Techenia Nedeli means we visited the Ural Mountains for a week. By way of quick review, here are a few words and a couple sentences. Yesho means more, Vapros means question, Adin means one, Yalaka means apple, Krasny means red, and Bolshoi means big. And now for these sentences. Omenya Yesho Adin Vapros means I have one more question. And Omenya Bolshaya Krasnaya Yalaka means I have a big red apple. And that's it for this lesson. Ruski Ed, signing out now. Das Vidanya!